by the end of this video this is what you'll get a small system where you can authenticate using google sign in and once you are in you are able to receive and send messages to all of the users inside of the system there is a relatively high demand for chat apps these days so i decided to build one using flutter web and firebase in under 10 minutes and show you guys how you could do the same thing hello my name is sunshinok welcome to the channel hello beautiful people to start things off you'll have to go to my github repo link in the description section select branches and select this google sign in branch and download this code as a zip file if you would like to know how this was all done, you can watch my previous video, Google sign in on Flutter web. But if you're not interested, you can just download it and start from there. After downloading the code, you'll have to go ahead on the web directory index.html and replace this Firebase code here inside the index.html with the code you'll get from your own Firebase so that the project is connected to your Firebase and not my Firebase. And the second thing you'll want to do is here inside of this tag, replace here the Google client ID with the one you'll get from the Google cloud services so that it will connect to your project. If you didn't understand nothing that I just said, watch my previous video. Now we want to be able to perform different operations with the users of our platform. So we are going to create here a new provider call it user dot dart inside of here we are going to have code to for example read all of the users from the database uh, the, ver the first thing that we are going to do here to be able to get our users from the database is opening up our user inside of models user dot dart file because there's a mistake i made here and here for photo i place the value here equal to email which is wrong and you're going to get an error for that so make sure this is set to photo good after you have created the user provider come here to this file and um, we are going to import here user mod user dot dart from models we are going to import user dot dart from services and we're going to import flutter material dot dart the name of our provider is user provider with change notifier and uh, our first variable or property here inside of our provider is a list of users called users and then we need an object private object of the type user services after that we have our constructor here which is a named constructor called init that it's going to call another method called get user there's a lot of calls calls here and here we have our get user which is a future method because of this async here and the only thing it does is calling user services dot get all and we wrote this code on our previous video what it does is it gets all of the users from Firebase and assigns it to our variable here and then notifies listeners. Good. After that, what you want to do is go ahead and open up your main.dart file. And in here, we want to add this line here, which says change notifier dot value user provider dot init basically we are registering here our user provider provider good um after that go ahead to widgets and where you see users card here for now all of these values are manually placed here so we will need to change this and uh, to change that we are going to do right here where you see user custom text we are going to change this to users 
dot user model dot name and don't worry we are still going to define this variable so you, you will understand what is this user model and here on our background image where we have asset image we want to set it as a network image and here we have user model dot photo and um, this is good finally to solve that error we just need to add here our user model variable right and that's going to fix the issue now after that is done we are going to our side menu here and uh, on our side menu is where we actually display our users so we will start by importing here our chat app provider users.dart provider and then we want users card and then we want the providers package the first thing to do here inside of our build method is to define our user provider and right underneath here our side headers where it says all users and you may have um a bunch of code here just clean everything and right underneath site headers we want this expanded widget and inside of our expanded widget we want a column widget and for the children of this column we are going to have here user provider dot users which is the list of users we just defined on our user provider and we are going to call map on this list and then to list map what what's what this is going to do basically is to perform some operations inside of this users list and what we are going to do here is basically for each user inside of a users list we want to return a user card widget and um, as a parameter user model of our user card widget we are going to pass here our user model and uh, the final thing here it's going to be done on our chat box widget and what we want to do here is basically import here our off.dart provider and import our providers package as well down here inside of our user card widget um, just to remove the is log logged in or is online property and set here user model is equal to off provider dot user model and now we are going to define this variable in here of provider is equal provider of context of of provider context and this is all that you have to do actually to be able to load your users from firebase and now we are going to run the app and see what happens when you do run the app make sure you specify the web port has 5000 because if you don't do that the app's not going to work now as you guys can see here if you go ahead and actually do login you'll be able to see all of the users that we have on our firebase database and at the moment we only have these two users so now what we want to do is be able to actually get the messages on our app from the database so we are going first of all to our models folder and create a new file called messages.dart and then we are opening our providers folder creating another file called messages.dart and finally we are opening our services folder and creating a file again messages.dart here inside of our messages model we are starting to build our model and um we import cloud file store and of course here we have our message model we are defining the fields that we are going to have on our firebase collection which is id content of the message sender id sender name and sent sent at which is a timestamp and then we are going to create variables right properties of our user of our message model sorry and after that we have here our 
named constructor the, it's going to take our data from a snapshot and assign the values to our properties here good after that what we want to do is go to our services here for the messages and um, import our constants import message.dart import user.dart import uuid to generate random ids and here we have our message services the collection is going to be called messages and the first method that we have here is send message to send a message obviously and we have user model sender and the content of the message has parameters after that we are going to generate an id here which is going to be our message id then we have file store collection dot doc this will insert this new document into our messages collection and we are setting the data to be id of the message equal to this id sender id it's sender dot id sender name sender dot name remember that this is the user model here the sender and the content is content of the message sent at is date now from and this basically is going to give the current date of when this message was sent after that we have get messages and this has to be a stream because we want to make sure that every time we have a new message in on firebase we automatically update our app that's why we are returning a stream here of list message models then we are going to return firebase file store dot collection dot order by sent add so that we are going to have we, we will order the messages based on the time they were sent then we have here dot snapshots dot map so that we can iterate through the snapshot snapshots and in here we have event dot docs which are our documents dot map snapshot message model dot from snapshot basically all of this what we are doing is we are converting all of the messages that we get from firebase into this message models and dot to list to return a list good after that we will open up our message provider here and import user models import services for the messages import flutter material dot dart message provider from change notifier obviously we have here our, our message controller which is a text editing controller we have here message services we just created this file and here we only have one method called send message that takes the user model as a parameter and here we have user services dot send message we we are passing the sender and the content of the message this is basically all and here we have message controller dot clear so that every single time the message is sent we are going to clear our text editing controller and this is basically what we needed to do here good and uh, after that we are going we are going to our widgets here let's start with the footer because this is where the message is going to be sent from actually so starting here for our text editing controller we are going to pass that as a controller of our text field here inside of our footer and we are going to import provide off on inside of providers we are going to import messages inside of providers and we are going to import the provider package after that we declare here of provider and we are declaring our message provider as well after that is done here inside of our text field we have this parameter on submitted and here we have value message provider dot send message and we are passing here the sender being equal to auth provider dot user model and what this is going to do is basically when the user clicks enter in the key in the keyboard the message is going to be sent if you don't want to do that there we can pass the same code here inside of our icon button so that the message can be sent either by clicking or on on pressing enter or clicking on the button good the final thing here is in here inside of the widget chat box what we want to do is 
we are going to call our messages provider but if you pay attention here this is the stream actually that's why we have providers dot off list messages because we want to get message model we want to get a list of message model right and here underneath our divider we had here a list view we just deleted the list view and now we have a list view builder right we want here reverse equal true so that our list builder because messages are from bottom to top and not top to bottom that's why we want to reverse our list view um item count here we have messages dot length or zero basically if we have no messages here the item count is going to be equal to zero and here we have message model is equal messages index so what's happening here inside of our item builder we have here this underscore basically means context inside of this context and we are passing the index as well so message model we have one item of the type message model which is called message and for all of these messages for every single one of these indexes we are going to assign to this variable here and then we return what we call custom chat bubble and this widget we created this widget the first parameter here is is me basically what this is going to do is going to define if the message is going to be on the right or on the left and what happens is if is me is equal to true the message bubble is going to be on the left and if it's equal to false it's going to be on the right to check if is me what we are doing is message dot sender id is equal to off provider dot user model dot id basically we want to check if the sender id of this message is equal to the uh, um, current current logged in user and then we have here the text is equal text dot contact content and we have the user is equal to message dot sender name here it should be username but I just wrote here user but I just want you to know that this is not the user model is basically just the username and the final thing that we are going to do here is coming here to our main and what we want to do is import messages from provider and um, import messages from services as well and in here we are going to register our provider message provider and we will register a stream provider because if you remember here for our stream provider for our messages this is a stream and we define this inside of message services dot get messages right so this is basically what you want you'll want to have here uh, i know it sounded a bit complex but it's not now let's try to run our app an important note guys when you do flutter run don't forget to specify the port as 5000 by the end of this video this is what you'll get a small system where you can authenticate using google sign in and once you are in you are able to receive and send messages to all of the users inside of the system